Hey guys, I'm Abby Lyons and I'm going to show you how to play 22 by Taylor Swift on the ukulele. We're doing Marathon Taylor Swift week this week, so please subscribe if you want to see more of those videos. Also, if you'd like to download the lead sheet and use the full play along video to practice this song, come join us over on Patreon. And last of all, thank you to Enya for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started with the tutorial. We have just three basic chords, they're down here. If you already know them, then feel free to skip ahead. Our first chord is G. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. Here's G. Then we have D. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the second fret of the second string. Here's D. And then the last chord is C. You're just going to put your third finger on the third fret of the first string. And here's C. So that's all of our chords. For our strumming pattern, we're going to be doing down, 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 down up one time on each chord. So here's that on G. Down, 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 up. And then also sometimes you're going to see slashes next to the chord. That means we're just going to strum one time on the chord and then hold. So first we're going to learn the verse. Our chord progression is down below. We have G, D, C, D. Here it is with the strumming pattern. We have G, D, C, D. So this chord progression happens four times in a row for the whole verse. Here is what it sounds like with the words. It feels like a perfect night to dress up like hipsters and make fun of our exes. Uh oh, uh oh. It feels like a perfect night for breakfast at midnight to fall in love with strangers. Uh oh, uh oh. So that's the verse. So next we have the pre-chorus and we actually have the same chord progression played three times in a row. And then in the fourth line, we have something just slightly different. We have G, D, and then one strum on C. So here's that last line with the strumming patterns. We have G, D, and then one strum on C. So now here's the whole pre-chorus with the words. Yeah, we're happy, free, confused, and lonely at the same time. It's miserable and magical, oh yeah. Tonight's the night when we forget about the deadlines. It's time. Uh oh. <laughs> so that's the pre chorus. So now we're going to learn how to play the chorus, and we have a new chord progression here. In the first part, we have G, D, C, C. And then in the next part, we have D, C, D, D. So here's that with the strum. We have G, D, C, C again. Now D, C, two times on D. So that whole chord progression will get played two times for the chorus. And then we have a different line at the very end. It's pretty similar, but there's just one difference. <laughs> so this last line is G, D, C, C. And then here's the difference. We stay on C. So C, C, and then two times on D. So that's the whole chorus progression. Here it is now with the words. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Everything will be all right if you came in next to you. You don't know about me, but I'll bet you want to. Everything will be all right if we just keep dancing like we're. So that's the 
the chorus. So now we're going to learn the bridge. Our chord progression is down below. This is actually the last line from the chorus, and this time it's going to be played three times in a row for the entire bridge. So here's what the bridge sounds like with the words. It feels like one of those nights We ditch the whole scene It feels like one of those nights We won't be sleeping It feels like one of those nights You look like bad news I gotta have you I gotta have you So that's how you play 22 by Taylor Swift. If you liked this video, please like it and be sure to subscribe. I have tons of other tutorials on my channel. A lot of them are for Taylor Swift songs actually. So thank you for watching. And again, thank you to Enya for sponsoring this video. If you guys want a nice intermediate ukulele, if you're looking to step up in terms of sound, I really recommend this one. There's a link down below in the description if you want some more info on it. <laughs> and again, if you want those lead sheets, and play along videos come join us on patreon thanks so much for watching and i'll see you again tomorrow for another taylor swift tutorial all right bye <laughs>